Hi, I recently discovered Laravel Valet and I wanted to show you that in this quick video um, how I combine this with a bash script to set up a WordPress development environment in less than a minute. The installation instructions for Laravel Valet uh, are on this page here. Uh, as you can see, support for WordPress is built in to the installation. Uh, the installation notes are here. You'll be using Homebrew, uh, Composer, and uh, you will also need to install a database for WordPress, which you can do by using MariaDB. We'll be running a script on the Mac to handle all the various commands and install various components. Um, the script uses WPCLI and is heavily borrowed from uh, this post by Christopher Geary um, on how to automate WordPress installation with Bash scripting and WPCLI. I'll put the link to this in the notes under this video. Start a timer and see how quickly I can do this. So firstly on my Mac I've set up a, a folder called uh, Valet in the Sites folder. I've got two installs there already. I'll create a new folder called WP Test. Uh, and then in my terminal, I'll cd into WP Test. Nothing in there. Let's just click into the folder in the finder. I'll run my bash script. Uh, we're asked for a database name, so call it WP Test. I'll call the site WP Test. Do I want to add some pages to the site? So yeah, so um, I will add uh, about us portfolio contact us. Do I want to run the install? Yes. And this will run in the background, but it's going to ask me um, one or two questions during the install. You can see the folders uh, being populated with the WordPress install files. WP config is set up. Do I want to install WooCommerce? Um, not on this occasion. Do I want advanced custom fields? No. These questions are being asked because I've inserted them into the script. Now it's installing some plugins that uh, I use all the time. So there's Yoast going in, enable media replace plugin, regenerate thumbnails plugin, and you can add as many plugins as you use to your script as you like. Now it's asking me about themes. So do I want to install Genesis? Um, not on this occasion. Do I want to install the excellent musket development theme? Not on this occasion. Now it's creating some menus based on the pages that I added earlier. And it's updating translations um, for the plugins uh, and themes that I've installed. And then finally it's showing me um, the just bring that window back for a second. It's showing me the um, completed work, the, the site with the theme that's active, and the plugins that I've installed. It's also there copied my password to the clipboard and automatically opened up Google Chrome browser um, at the new site login page. So let's stop the timer just under three minutes. So now I can log in, paste in my password, and here's my site. So uh, we can already see that Yoast has been installed. Uh, but let's go just go um, through what we've got here. So um, in my script, I asked it to delete um, the, the sample posts. Uh, I asked it to delete the sample page, but here are my pages that I put in um, earlier. 
you see the home page was created automatically and automatically set to the being uh, the front page of the site. The Mr. WordPress comment has been deleted. If I go to themes, you'll see that uh, 2015 and 14 have disappeared and I'm just left with 2016. If I go to menus, you'll see that I've got a main navigation menu created and populated with the pages that I added. If we go to plugins, we've got enable media replace and the other three that I um, inserted into the script and they've all been activated. If we go to settings, um, you can see uh, the, the details are all filled in here and also I asked it to download um, the local version for me anyway in the UK and so all of this locale stuff has been set up correctly. If I look at the front of the site, so it's running the um, stock WordPress theme but here's the menu everything works nicely. So that's it, a um, couple of minutes to set up a local development environment for WordPress. Thanks for watching.